Hey everybody and it's Archie and we're back with the video. Today we are doing the Red Dead Redemption 2 Secret Weapon Weapons and Locations. This is my top five personal pick of my favourite weapons um secret weapons and locations. Watch this video and you'll know how to get all of them. Starting at number one. And at number one today is the Viking helmet and the hatchet. You can see that I'm wearing the Viking helmet right now. It's pretty cool and you find it at this location just on the map. It is right here, um, just um, north of Ansberg and just under, I think there's Roanoke, Roanoke Valley, yep, just there. And well, you just go straight into the woods and you, it's, it's really easy to find, pretty hard to miss. This is the hatchet, I'm holding it right now, and yep, it's gone to first person. You can throw it, and once you've thrown it, you can collect, you can collect it straight back up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it does a one-shot kill to anyone or for any distance. Uh, but you don't want to throw it too far, otherwise, you know, you might lose it, and there's only one of them in the game. So yeah, that's the hatchet and the viking helmet. one is the pirate cutlass it's just south of Saint Denis on these little islands as you can as, um, as you can see on the map yep just under Saint Denis which is one of the biggest towns which is the biggest town in Red Dead Redemption 2 yep just on one of these islands it's it the pirate cutlass is has the has does the most damage and has the most range so it's, it's the best melee weapon you can find yep all right let's, let's see yeah, as you can see, um, you find you can, once you go onto the island that I've pointed out, you find it on a shipwreck boat. It's it's an insanely cool um, weapon, and yeah, here's his, his what it looks like in first person, and what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty sick. The third one is the wide blade um, knife. It's it's just um by Big Valley, so yeah, south of Big Valley, and you can stop off there by going to Wallace Station and then heading west. Yeah, it's, you find it in a cave, which you can see here, and to get it, um, the, you have to detonate some dynamite, which is just around here. Yeah, once you detonate it, um, uh, uh, it'll blow up and you'll be able to find the weapon. Yeah. You want to head down there, and when I did, I got a bit lost my first time. But it's um, it, it's not too hard to find. But I, I'd advise using like a lantern or something, so you so you can see your way. Yeah, so you duck under here, and yeah, it's it's in one of these little tunnels. It's, it's quite big of this um, this mine, so so yeah, you, you it's quite easy to get lost. But I want to once you find it, it's not too hard. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's just through here. Uh, as you can see, it's stabbed right into someone's back. Just yeah, been impaled in someone's back. It's different to the um, to the normal knife because it's got a, a much wider blade, uh, but it has the exact same stats as a normal knife. Just looks differently. And also remember to pick up the, some gold nuggets, and also you can pick up a head torch, which is pretty useful. So yeah. This is the knife right here. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Like, like I said, it's the exact same stats. Yep. This is what it looks like. For, that's what it looks like in first person. It's, it's really. It's pretty cool, but nothing too special. The next knife is the antler blade, which is directly north from where we've just been. It's it's in my personal opinion, it's it's my favourite knife because um I like I like the um how it's manufactured out of an, an antler. So as you can see, um there was a bear attack and this man um stabbed the bear in the neck, but it looks like they both died. Yeah, the yeah it's called the antler knife, whatever. And yeah, it's pretty gross, but you get this pretty cool blade. Yeah, as you can see, it's um it's got a nice curve in the in the in the blade and it's made out of an antler
the last blade, which is um, which is certainly not least, is is the Civil War blade. It's directly north from Blue Water Marsh and Sandini, and it's located just um, yeah, just there. It's pretty easy to find. It's like it's kind of old Civil War fortress. So yeah, yeah, you want to go into the entrance, and as you can see on the mini map, there's the icon of a weapon. I, you can probably see it flashing. So you want to go in there, and there's some there's some other stuff in there, like some uh, like a chest, and there's also some cigarette cards you might want to get. Yeah. So yeah, they're, they're pretty important because they um they uh, in a side quest like it tells you to collect them, and if you collect them, he'll give you money or something. I I, I can't remember. But yeah, no, but down here is the Civil War Blade. Yeah, um, I, I like using a bit of light because it's a bit easier to see. And yep, yeah, there it is, just sitting up there. It's pretty cool. It's, yeah, it's same stats, yeah, but it's just got a cool different handle and, yeah. Yeah, this is the knife. What it looks like, it looks pretty, pretty cool. A bit, and it's, um, it's quite rusty though. But there's nothing you can do about that. It's just kind of an old rusty knife, been sitting there for a while. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, drop a like and comment if you want me to do another one of these videos. They're quite, um, they're quite fun to make, and you get like quite a cool one, quite a few new things. So yeah. See ya.